Good morning. I am at an Aldi dumpster. Yes, that Aldi dumpster. Let's see if there's anything there for us today. Boxes. What is that? Oh, Ooh, bananas. We better get in there quick. Hey, I'd like to have to talk to you, but you were gone. Let's get back in there. Oh yeah, I can just feel it. I can feel it shaking. the Mommy's processing a lot of bananas. The whole freezer is full of frozen peeled bananas for her to make smoothies. That is such a great idea. Come in with me. See you at home. Did you smudge it? No. 
polishing the lens. Yeah. Hello, Frugal Lisa's and Dumpsterine. Oh, welcome home. Let's take a look at Frugal Daddy's amazing dumpster dive haul. All righty, we have five pizzas for you. We have two of the large take and bake sausage and pepperoni, extra large pizzas, extra large, Italian sausage, sliced pepperoni, and a cheese blend on a thin crust. It's a 16 incher. We also have three of the take and bake cauliflower crust pizzas. They are all the, there's the one in the back. They are all of the veggie variety. We've got three packages of mini non garlic flatbread. Total yum. Total yum. We have a package of six ciabatta sandwich rolls, which are absolutely delicious. The date on them is 416. And then we have thin sliced seed tastic bread, jam packed with seeds. I freaking love seeds in my bread. So jam packed, woo hoo. And it's organic. We have a package of flour tortillas, which is awesome because we just used up the ones we had the other day and the girls wanted tacos, you know, soft tacos as we do them. And uh, we didn't, we couldn't, we couldn't. We did taco bowls instead, but now we have those. So yay. Also over here on the left, we have a very long French baguette. And next to it, we have a package of two artisan flatbreads. This is the bread section. This is the cracker section. We have a package of Aldi's version of Ritz crackers. We have a package of string cheese, which is based... Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, Go ahead. sorry. Go ahead. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. No, I'm sorry. I would never interrupt you. I would never interrupt you. I know. No. I know you wouldn't. Never. No, you, please. I'm sorry. After you. What were you saying? I'm sorry. Go ahead. It's light string. See? Light string cheese. See how important that was? That is important. Well, it says tear for display. We have a whole case of spinach and cheese manicotti. Manicotti. And each one, it looks like when they were maybe going to unpack it, like something fell on this or they crushed it. Like the box was kind of crushed. Yes. And so each thing is like ripped or yes. popped open or... It, some are better than others. Yeah. I, I mean, but I mean... What's interesting to me is they're still soft. Like, you know, pasta will, fresh pasta like this yeah. will dry all out. And yeah, these I'm are, sure it just happened. these are still soft. Still I mean, cold. we're, we're, that, someone's going to be having these for dinner. Well, it, and they were in the box. I only took this one out. To right, show you. right, right. So they were, they were all, yeah, in they this were never pit. unpacked. They were damaged. They were like smashed. Yeah. You can see on that one. Yeah. I probably yeah. won't eat that one. Yeah. Give me taste Why it. don't you just eat it now? Yeah. Just have it uncooked. Do you think this is edible? Technically, yes. Maybe I'll Technically. Eat, maybe I'll eat from the middle. They say, uh, God, I can't believe you ate that. Yeah, it probably, yeah, it's just probably a sauce. heat heat and bake kind yeah. of situation. Just put the sauce on and heat it up. Just like it's a leftover. Oh, yeah, yeah, like yeah. Pre-leftover. <laughs> Pre-leftover. Chocolate and dark chocolate. Here are one of Frugal Daddy's favorite foods, and that is the beef hot dog. Frankfurter, as we call it. Did you see they have no nitrates or nitrites? Yes, and they plump when you cook them. Oh, they're twice as nice. I like when hot dogs plump when you cook them. If they don't plump, I feel like there's something wrong. Like, that's become an expectation for us. Yeah. That things will plump, but not all do. We have a package, a fabulous package, of low moisture part skim mozzarella shredded cheese, again, for homemade pizza night. But let's say you wanted to make two pizzas. I don't know if that would be enough for two. Well, it might be if we use the flatbreads. But anyway, whatever. You don't have enough, you go to your string cheese. Yeah, I guess. Uh, and they're both light. Oh. I know, I know, Did but you it's. Fix it? I, yeah, I fluff it. I am. Um, yeah. fl I'm the fluffer I, yeah. of cheese. <laughs> I, Look at this and tell me what it is. It looks like a basket, a very big basket. Where's Liesel for scale? It doesn't have a bottom and the pieces hook together. So what do we think one would use this for? Yeah, that is unusual. Why doesn't it have a bottom? I think it would be a great cat or dog bed because just throw a blanket in it and who cares? It doesn't matter that there's no bottom, right? Perfect size for a mama cat and her little baby kittens. Yeah, right? As if it's meant to be? Yes. What does that mean? Uh, it doesn't mean anything. It's just kitten season, expecting? and what if, what if, I'm not, I'm not expecting, but someone might be and need a, might need a home, and we'd have that basket. 
We don't have the home though. We just have the basket. Is this the other thing? I um, got one glove. No, I forgot all about that. There's another thing besides that. You've got one glove. Yeah. It's a lefty. I wish I got both. Is that a golf glove? No. no it's I don't know what golf gloves look like. Golf gloves are less levy than that. It's nice though. What's really it for? Nice. Waterproof? Heavy duty work gloves. Well, that's cool. Waterproof. There is also this thing. It's collapsible. For putting your groceries? For, yeah, for organizing your, or your groceries. Gloves. Or whatever, in your car, or wherever. I didn't notice this at first, but it's got pockets on the outside. We have grapes. Red grapes. Yeah. And grapes. Musk melon. Count Lupia. A lemon. A lemon. We have three bags of oh, oh, wait, 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 wait. Pretty, oh, sorry, pretty, sorry. Pretty, pretty I have to... Four tomatoes on the vine. There's the lettuce. All right, we have two bags of Italian salad, and they look excellent. Yeah. We have two really nice-looking zucchini. We've got bananas. Those are some decent-looking bananas. They are. I got a whole case of them. Awesome. We have the pink lady apples. That's a very nice apple. Frugal Daddy found two half gallons of organic, organic whole milk with the date June 15th. Does organic last a lot longer? Because that seems like a date that is way out there. And the half uh, and half. Why are you making the half and half dance? It's like a baby. There's a mommy and Aww. daddy and a baby. It's a big it's baby. Half and, half. Look at it. and her best by date is May 25th. Mm -hmm. Fat free half and half. Don't cover the date with your finger. May no, 25th. Um, That's my grandmother's birthday. All right, you want to show us the final? I wonder how these are made. Ta-da! A case of the little individual self-serve. One person sits with a whole one in their lap at a time. Cheesecake mini sampler platter deluxes. Eight of them. Where's the ninth? There was a ninth. What happened to it? Oh, it's over there. Did you eat it already? Look at how beautiful how glorious this is. We have our plain cheesecake, our traditional plain. We have chocolate chocolate chip. We have raspberry swirl. And we have the turtle. And I have to say, I know Frugal Daddy's favorite is the, just plain cheesecake. He's a plain vanilla kind of guy. And I kind of feel the same way, like that classic is the best. And I I kind of feel like people would have the raspberry swirl as their least favorite, but it's actually very good. It's very nice. Mm -hmm. But I also have to say, even though I wouldn't think the chocolate would be my favorite, because I would think the plain would be, the chocolate is an absolute delight, and so is the turtle. They're all freaking amazing. Even if you think, oh, I don't like chocolate cheesecake, I don't like all that fancy weird stuff. I These are so freaking delicious and the used by date or best by date or whatever date is yesterday's date they look fine what are you doing what are you doing playing it wait bring it bring it and stop look at that look at it oh my god it's so beautiful and what is extremely our... are you gonna say the crust yeah yes what is very special is oh i touched it oh i want to eat it now um we have the ah graham cracker crust on the traditional and the um, you know the vanilla e flavored ones and then we have a chocolate cookie crust for the chocolate cheesecake which does have little chocolate chips on top i haven't eaten yet today i so want to yeah. just eat this whole freaking thing eaten. and then this one chocolate cookie you know what i'm saying crust and the traditional vanilla da 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 da, da. and then we have <gasps> I would have eaten it off the pavement. We have, uh, looks like chocolate chips there. and a chocolate swirl and a caramel swirl. Mm -hmm. I feel like there should be nuts. Oh, there are. They're, they look like they have chopped, um, it should be pecans, shouldn't it, if it's turtle pie or whatever, but I think they look like walnuts. All right. They're very small pieces. Yeah, they are. That's why the whole round thing is, it's like a bedtime snack. This is a great haul. This is. Interesting that there's no meat. Mm. But I'd say the nine cheesecakes make up for that. And those, those manigots look mm -hmm. great. The well, last time we got those, and the franks, really and, the, and the dark chocolate, and the crackers, and the pizzas, and the naan, mm -hmm. and the grapes, everything looks really, really good. It all looks good and fresh. I just want to tell you, that was so satisfying. Does it make you want real. to yeah, eat more? more? No. no, no, no. Okay. That, that was perfect. That, it, that would make me 
want more. What a fantastic haul. I'm very appreciative. Thank you so much, dearie. How's your shoulder feel? Oh. Oh, keep rubbing, keep rubbing. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoyed the dive. I hope you're having as beautiful day as we are. See you next time. Thanks Stay safe. I went through this one in More pork view sausages, Mom. Please? Please?